Hello everyone, my name is Dan Meisner and on behalf of the team from the Siemens Energy Facility in Painted Post, New York, I'd like to congratulate Peter Wallen and his team for their Red Cross Community Service Award. You know, it's great to see a company with over 20 years of history here in our, in our area continuing to make such a positive impact. Keep up the good work. Thanks again and congratulations. About five years ago, Joel Robinson, the executive director at the time, came to me and said, uh, Peter Wallen, we'd love to have you sponsor a new program that uh, has to do with smoke alarms in the area. And I said, yeah, I, I am interested in being a sponsor, but what more can I do? What more can we do as a team with my business? And Joel said, well, we actually have a process where we're installing smoke alarms in homes uh, for free, free programs for homeowners um, through the Red Cross called Sound the Alarm, Sound the Alarm. And so we got involved and we did the training. We went through the whole appropriate training programs and we started just um installing smoke alarms in people's homes and it's been great. We've seen, unfortunately, in Shimon County, Stabend County, we've seen some very disastrous fires and as an insurance agent I've seen them personally and I've been on site with fires where there's people that um, either their homes were perished, they were perished because the smoke alarms weren't working and it really bothered me, it really frustrated me and I saw that happening more times than I wanted to see that happening. I saw it in real life. So when we saw this opportunity to go into people's homes, educate them a bit on the smoke alarm process, and then install these smoke alarms for free, I jumped at it. We want someone to, to be there to help educate uh, the homeowner, the residents of that property. We want, we want them to understand uh, a proper escape route. We want to understand uh, the best way to get out of the house, the best way to educate their family as to what would happen if there was an actual fire in the house. And then we certainly have people um, that go with, uh, with me. In many cases, we're actually installing the alarm with my ladder and with my drill and my hammer and my nails, and we install the alarms properly. It's alarming, no pun intended. It's alarming to see how many smoke alarms in people's homes do not work and I, I swear to God we've done almost 600 of these and there's it's a stunning number as to how many really don't work I remember in particular we went to a lady's house and it was up in the Millport area and we were doing the education piece and I said well I'm gonna go upstairs and install a smoke alarm I'm gonna install one here on the main floor and I'm gonna do one down in the basement fast forward two years later this past summer um, the lady's living in the house she lives there by herself and she was sleeping in her reclining chair in her recliner and she's sleeping in the chair and the smoke alarm goes off and technically it wakes her up and it wakes her up and alerts her to the point that there's something wrong there's something going on here in this house I need to attend to and basically in the basement a fire had started based on her uh, dehumidifier that was down in the basement and something was happening with it where it started on fire it started smoking to the point that she needed to get out of the house and get rescued and she was fortunate and I smiled because she was fortunate enough to get out of the house alert the neighbors, alert her brother that actually lived close by, and they were able to get the animals out of the house too, and she was very grateful to that. So we saved her life. We're serving our fellow neighbors. You know, this could happen to you, it could happen to me. Anytime anything could happen in the house, we want these smoke alarms to work. So in this case, we're so grateful, we're so thrilled that it worked and we actually saved a life. And we're gonna to continue to do it until everybody in Shimon County, Stuben County, has smoke alarms at work.